Welcome back to the Lumios Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon, and today, to everyone's surprise, we actually got some Scarlet and Violet DLC news, or, well, a little bit stretchy, but we'll get into that, in the Nintendo Direct that aired uh, this morning at the time of recording and uploading, uh, but yeah, so... This wasn't it's super, super big news, you know, this wasn't like we didn't get uh, the reveal of a new Pokemon or anything like that, but we did get to see gameplay footage of the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc, neither of which we've seen before uh, gameplay footage of, so that's huge. To me, uh, the areas are a big part of my excitement for Pokemon games, especially with DLC, because obviously that's such a big marketing point of them, is, hey, it's a new area you can explore, uh, so... To me, that's huge. That's, uh, like, seriously, uh, new Pokemon would be great, but I'm more than satisfied. We did also get the reveal of some uh, Pokemon that will be returning, and, like, specifically for what DLCs. Looks like we've got uh, Corphish and uh, Gligar, Sentret, uh, and a few others in the Teal Mask, and then we Apom, and then we also have in the Indigo Disc, it looks like Alchemy, Flygon, uh, Mancino, and, and a few others. They, they revealed some more. You know, we can do a whole deep dive on that if that's what people are interested in, but I don't think that's the most interesting thing from here. There's actually a couple things that I noticed in this uh, DLC trailer that kind of grabbed my attention. So, first off, there is the fact that we see Jotoni and Wooper here in Kitakami, which, you know, that shouldn't be surprising because it does say several times uh, in the initial press release that you will be stepping outside of Paldea's borders, but this just further hammers in, hey, you're not in Paldea anymore, you're somewhere else, and Jotonium Wooper lives here, not Paldean Wooper, so that is interesting, uh, you know, and if you were perhaps a denier that, you know, Kitakami would not be a part of Paldea, well, here's your proof that it definitely is not part of Paldea. So, uh, moving into some kind of bigger stuff, there was a scene where, if you notice, there's a Hisuian Growlithe statue in the background of one of these trailers. And this is really neat to say the least. I've previously talked about how Kitakami could be the modern day version of Senjo, and this could hold some credits to that. With Senjo having a lot of ties to Hisui, this could be kind of, you know, add more to that. You know, the big thing before was that it looked like Kitakami was using the same alphabet as uh, Senjo or Hisui, which, you know, we believe may be the alphabet from Senjo as well. Uh, that's just theory. But then now the reveal of Hisui and Growlithe as a statue here kind of, you know, implies that these people have seen Hisui and Growlithe, which to me would imply close proximity to Hisui. And you know what else is close to Hisui? Senjo. So that is really interesting. That's a big theory that I've been a believer in. So that's pretty exciting. Also, it looks like all three of the hero Pokemon, or now they're called the loyal ones, uh, will be featured in these games. Like there, there'll be a cutscene where it's all three of them standing together. This is actually kind of interesting because it, uh, previously I thought you would have to collect all three. Like you would have to, okay, here, go here to get Monkey Dory. All right, now it's time to go get Pheasantipity over here. Okay, now go over here to get uh, m the other one, um, okie dokie. So, once you get all three, now you can go get Ogre Pond. I thought that's kind of how it will be, uh, but them standing all three together kind of makes me wonder if, like, you're getting a choice, and maybe this is indeed kind of like a starter selection where you're going to pick one of these, Monkey Dory, Pheasantipity, or Okie dokie, and, uh, that is going to be the one you pick. And then very likely these new trainers, Carmine and Kiernan, or Kieran, 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 whatever, uh, they will probably get the other two. I imagine Carmine will get the one that beats yours, and Kieran will get the one that is weak to yours. But yeah, I think that's really neat. Uh, I do also, before we move into uh, the Indigo Disc stuff, which I don't think there's as much with, uh, I do want to say that I think that this looks so beautiful. It looks so, so beautiful. I am so excited for the Teal Mask, Kitakami. It's stunning, really. Okay, so moving into the Indigo Disc, just right off the bat, something I noticed was that uh, you can actually see in the like aerial shot of Blueberry Academy that there is this little, uh, like, you can see more under it. And just saying, I don't think Blueberry Academy is Terrapagos, but the uh, 
the allusion to Terrapagos is definitely there. It, it definitely is supposed to look very similar to Terrapagos, with, like, the main part of Blueberry Academy being that, uh, I guess, top shell of Terrapagos, or the top gem of it, while, you know, the bottom part that you're seeing is its its whole shell. Uh, so I thought that was really neat. We do also get to see another new character here, uh, the... Uh, seemingly like owner whether that's the headmaster or just like someone above the headmaster or owns it uh, the owner of the blueberry academy i already forgot his name but he's there he's cool that's fun uh, so the interesting thing about the blueberry academy is that it is like an artificial world in there which is super cool they call it like a terrarium and so that is I mean, that's that's honestly, I love that. It's an artificial world, and there's some really cool stuff here. So if you notice, there is a Lolan Executor seen in this terrarium, implying that you can catch a Lolan Executor there. And that makes me wonder if perhaps this terrarium will be able to... Uh, replicate the environmental needs for you to be able to evolve other Pokemon into their specific regional forms and be able to find regional forms. So like, for example, maybe I can find a Lolan Grimer here, even though, you know, a Lolan Grimer is supposed to only exist in Alola. Likewise, maybe I can replicate the right conditions for when I give my Pikachu a Thunderstone, it to evolve into Raichu, but a Lolan not Cantonian. That would be really neat. I don't know that that will be the case, but there being seemingly a wild Alolan Executor here definitely makes me feel more so that it's the case, but I, I guess we will see. But either way, this Terrarium looks very expansive, lots of different areas. Super excited for this. Uh, the Dugong looks so cool. I this is going to be a really cool DLC. Uh, previously, I was much more excited for Teal Mask because I just kind of felt like you know, they're saying, oh, you're going to go to Kitakami. And then the second one, they're like, oh, you're going to school. And it's like, well, Kitakami sounds a lot more fun. But this definitely got me more hyped for Blueberry Academy. That, I mean, I'm super excited for this. It also could allow you to replicate the right conditions for you to evolve some Pokemon that can evolve, but can't evolve in Pal Paldea. So things like uh, White Stripe Basilin, uh, Ursaring, Stantler, and Scyther into Cleavor. Perhaps you'll be able to meet these conditions in Blueberry Academy if you can't already meet them in Teal Mask. Because, again, if Teal Mask is Senjo and has a lot of Hisui ties, I could see them just kind of roping it in there, and that's where you can do that. Uh, but again, that's all speculation. Uh, the last big, big thing from the Teal Mask is that, you know, we get a little cutscene of Terrapagos, and if you look behind it, you can see a kind of crystallized room it looks very similar to area zero uh so it makes me wonder will there be an area zero like area in blueberry academy or will there perhaps be a return to area zero and we get to go deeper into area zero there's a lot of mysteries in area zero uh you know there's all those weird markings there's you know a lot of questions of how paradox pokemon can exist you know in the past but you know like back when uh he saw them even though the time machine hadn't been made yet it, there's a lot of questions surrounding that and the dlc is called the hidden treasures of area zero so obviously area zero is going to tie into these stories but it, this is really interesting to me that potentially we could be going into area zero again and exploring deeper into it or more of it or you know maybe Maybe it's more boring than that, and Terrapagos is just kind of there at the bottom now. I don't know. But I'm really excited to see, and I'd love to see your guys' thoughts on uh, this trailer. What are you thinking? What's your thoughts? What's your initial reaction? You think it looks really cool? Is there something else that you thought was really cool that you noticed in it that you want me to know? Because, obviously, I'm human. I can't catch everything. So, this is just kind of, after seeing the trailer, like, twice my initial thoughts but again i would love to hear yours i am so excited for this dlc guys also i will say i think that the teal mask could be coming relatively soon like i think i think august or september is definitely possible we've previously been saying september for sure because uh regulation d runs through september which means that october should be regulation e which should include the uh Pokemon that are introduced or reintroduced in Teal Mask. So, maybe that'll be the case. And, uh, you know, we, we will get this in September. But specifically, it's uh, some other stuff in the trailer. Like, uh, 
the Detective Pikachu release date being October 6th, that makes me think, oh, well, they're not going to want to drop it in September, like late September, last week of September, then the very next week Detective Pikachu's out. They're going to want to space that out a little bit. So early September or late August would be my prediction now. I think we'll be getting more news on this pretty soon, hopefully in July, but I do definitely think by August at the latest. But yeah, again, let me know your thoughts on all this. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I will see all of you later.